Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to give you a very, very quick introduction to using translations in Django. So to get started, what I'll do is I'll create a Django project. So Django admin start project, and we'll call this translation example. And then we'll CD into that directory. Next, what I want to do is I want to start up a project. So Python manage.py. I'll start app example. Okay, so I have the app inside of the project. So if I open this here, now I wanna add that example app to the settings. So I can do that in here. And like I said, this will be a very simple example. So I'll create a view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a view that has some translated text in it. And I'll also create a template that has translated text within it. So inside of example, the other directory, I'll go to views and I'll create a simple index and I'll return render uh, requests. This index should have requests as well. And then I'll return a template. So we'll just call this uh, index.html. I'll create that in a moment. And then we'll return a dictionary called context. And for this one, I'll call this uh, hello. So the key is going to be hello and the text will be hello. But this text I'm going to translate to another language. So I'll leave it as English for now just to get it up and running. And I'll create a directory. So uh, example templates. I want to create a directory and then create a um, template file inside of that directory. Okay, so I have that here. And here I'll have some text that will be translated as well. So first I'll put the hello text here. So that's what's coming from the view. And remember, this is going to be translated. But in addition to that, I'll have some other text that I want to translate. So I will say, my name is Anthony. So I'll translate this. So it shouldn't be a string, it's just text. And since it's HTML, I'll wrap it in, let's say like, h2 tags for now and then i'll come back in a moment to actually do the translation but i just want to make sure that the app itself is working so we can get to the translation part so i have that and now if i go back to translation example and then urls what i'll do is i'll import from uh, example dot views or how about from example import views and i'll create a path for that just on the index and this will be views.index. And I believe that's enough to get the app up and running. So let's try it. Manage.py and then run server. And if I reload, okay, so I see the page here. I see, hello, my name is Anthony. So everything is working fine. So to make the translation work, it's very simple. So in the code, I have a couple of options. In the views, what I can do is I can import something that will allow me to mark this as text to be translated. So what I'll do is I'll import from django.utils.translation. I'm going to import something called get text as underscore. And just as a note, when you're using this, you need to have get text installed on your system. So the Unix utility. So uh, for me, I had to do app get, get text. But uh, whatever system you are using, you need to have this installed. So I'll post a link to it in the description below if you don't have this already. But just keep in mind that's what you need. I already have it on my machine, so I can't install it again. But basically, all I did was this. So a sudo app get install get text. Okay, so we have this get text, and a common alias for get text across uh, programming languages is just an underscore, just to keep it short. So it's a function. And if I pass in hello to that function, it will mark hello as text that can be translated. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have Django go through my project and search for all of the text that is marked as being for translation. So all the text like hello and what I'm going to do in the template. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate a file for me that a translator can come and modify. And then when the language switches for the app, the text that was marked will switch the new language automatically. So we'll see that in just a moment, but that is how you mark it inside of your views. And inside of the template, you have to use 
trans like that so translate and then put the text that will be translated in quotes and you put a closing um, percent in bracket there so that will mark it as being for translation so once i've done all of this the next thing i want to do is i want to uh, generate a translation file so the first thing i need to do is i need to create a directory for my translations in my app and i'll call that locale so make directory uh, example slash locale and then i can do this so i can do django admin make uh, i think it's make messages dash l for language and then the language that i want so i want spanish which is es so whatever language you want to translate to you need the language code and of course you can have more than one language but in this simple example i'll just show you one language so make messages and then it says processing locale es and if i go to the locale folder i'll have this django.po file so it's actually in a subdirectory of uh, es as well so if i had other languages we would see that but basically if i scroll down a little bit on lines uh, 21 and 25, I have the message IDs um, that I'm going to be working off of. So these are from the code. So this is from the template and this is from the view. And then the message string is the string that this gets translated to. So my Spanish is really bad. I think it's something like yo soy es Antonio for my name is Anthony. And for hello, it's just hola. So now that I have that, I can compile the messages. So Django admin again, and then compile messages just like that. And it creates a .mo file. So now this is ready to be used within my app. So I'll start up the server again, just so we can see it. Okay, so I'll run this. Refresh. And, oh, I forgot to do something with a tag. So I forgot to load the tag. So I need to bring in something into the template. So that's pretty simple. We can just put it at the top here. And it's going to be, so load, uh, and then internationalization. So I18N, just like that. So if I restart the server, this should work. Okay, so we see it's still hello, my name is Anthony. So the first way I'm going to change the language is by changing the language in the settings. So if I go to settings here for my project and I go down to uh, language code, instead of English US, I can have ES for Spanish. So I save that and my app restarts. And now when I go back to my app and refresh, we see it says hola, yo soy es Antonio. So Everything else in my app is exactly the same, but the text has changed because I'm using a different language. And it's basically just looking at the file that was generated, that Django.mo file. So if I had other languages, it would be similar, but for this particular uh, language, it's in my ES folder in .mo. So what I want to do now is I want to make this English again. So just to show you it's English again, I'll refresh and it's back to English. So to make this work based off the user's browser, so the user's browser will send a language code to the server when it makes a request. So mine is English by default, but if I want to send Spanish, I just use like an extension, I can change the language. So we see here Chinese, Spanish, Arabic, Portuguese. But for this to work, so if I change this to Spanish, Let's just see and refresh. It's still English. So to get this to work, I need to bring in something into the middleware to make it detect the different languages that are available. And that middleware is called locale middleware. And you want to put it after the session middleware and really after common middleware. So I'll put it here. I already have it copied. So I'll just uh, add quotes around it. And then I'll save and my app will restart. So now if I refresh, we see hola yo soy as Antonio. So I'm sending a Spanish language code. If I switch it back to English, it changes to English and then Spanish, Spanish. So you see 
I can use both languages by switching the language in my browser. So Django is detecting this automatically. I'm not changing the language setting in the app anymore. And if I change it to something like Chinese, then it falls back to English because that's the default. But when I change it to Spanish, we see that it goes to Spanish. So obviously this is a very simple example, but the process of adding translations to your app can just be the same thing with just more text. There are more complicated things that you can do. So I'll post a link to the documentation in the description below. If you have any questions on the more complicated stuff, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll consider making a video on more advanced stuff with translations. But I think that's enough to get you started and you'll get a long way with that because most of the things that you will want to translate in an app are going to be that simple. So that's it for this video. I hope I was able to help you understand a little bit about translations in Django. Um, if you have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.